this is Jin Lo from Jin Lo Professional Music. In this video, I would like to explain on how to choose a good piano or how to buy a good piano, whether it is an acoustic piano or grand piano. How to choose or buy a good acoustic piano or grand piano? Um, a good piano should have qualities like a uh, beautiful, warm and round piano tone or sound, not sharp or small, tiny piano sound. Um, a good piano sound is able to last long or ring long after you hit the key. Piano keys should have good and responsive piano touch too. When we talk about piano touch, we mean how piano key feels like when we press down the key with our finger. Some piano keys uh, feel stiffer, harder to press down, while some piano keys feel looser, lighter to press. When we press down a piano key, we should feel that the finger is able to sink quite deep down into the piano key bed. If our finger feels good when we press down on the piano and you like the piano sound, most probably that may be your piano. But you still need to check on other areas before deciding which piano to buy. Our finger should feel comfortable resting its strength on the piano key bed, just like how we rest our body on the sofa. When we press down a piano key, our finger should feel some degree of resistance. Appropriate degree of resistance helps pianist to build his or her finger's muscle strength and independence, which are important for developing finger strength. If piano keys are too light or too shallow, our fingers won't get to work much on building their muscles. However, if piano keys are too heavy or too hard to press, it tires the fingers, which are also not good. Also, try to check if all piano keys' surface are smooth and are even sized. There are many different piano brands in the market. Some pianos are especially handcrafted and very unique. For example, some piano brands have extra 9 to 14 keys than a classic piano that only have 88 keys, typically, allowing the pianist to play extra higher and lower notes on a piano if you have extra keys. Mm, some piano uh, manufacturers may provide art case piano or art deco piano special service. If you want or are looking for a very special, unique piano as a piece of art to decorate your house, you may look for art case piano. For example, you may custom make a special piano with hand-painted art on the piano, beautiful have special piano shape or design, or have gold and embellished on your piano case. So what to look for or check when buying a good piano? Um, please check um, the piano's physical appearance, the design, um, the piano's wood quality, piano's craftsmanship, the piano's key touch and response, uh, the piano sound, whether it sounds mellow, sweet, bright, and also the piano pedals. Different brands' pianos are made from different piano manufacturers from various countries. In general, the lifespan of some Japanese pianos are shorter compared to some America or Europe handcrafted pianos. However, if you are buying a piano mainly because you need a piano to practice to sit for piano exams, I would suggest to just buy the same exam piano brand or and model. In this way, you would be used to the same piano touch during piano exams. You would know how much strength to use to play a soft and loud passages during your piano exams, just like how you have been practicing at home. Now, there are some tips to buy, choose, or choose good quality piano that I would like to share with all of you. Try to play on all the pianos in the piano shop or music shop. Even if the pianos are all from the same piano brand, piano can sound quite different from piano to piano. 
So try to play on all the pianos that are available in a piano shop or music shop. Listen to the individual's piano sound, whether it, it's sweet, mellow, deep, or bright. And try to feel its piano's key touch when you play on the piano. Try playing very loudly and very softly on a piano key to hear and test how well a piano key responds according to your strength or touch. You may know how loud or how soft or the dynamic limits of a piano. How much strength you need to achieve certain volumes or dynamics. Try playing on low notes, middle notes and high notes on a piano. Listen to how the bass and treble sound like on the piano. See if you like the piano sound. Try playing repeatedly, rapidly, fast on the same piano key to see and test how well or how fast the piano key is able to react or respond according to your strength. Find out how sensitive or good is a piano's key touch. Try to sit on a piano's bench to feel if it's comfortable because we will be spending a lot of time sitting on a piano, playing and practicing. If you are buying a grand piano, the piano bench is nicer to sit on and adjustable according to your height. If you are buying an upright piano, check if the piano bench is adjustable. It is better to get an adjustable piano bench because if a piano bench is too high or too low, it is uncomfortable. it's uncomfortable to play. If you can't decide between, for example, two or three pianos that you like, try to write down the piano's model and its serial number. Take a break, rest for a while, and try playing on those pianos again to decide. You may also want to consider coming back on another day to try out on these pianos again, when your ears and hands feel fresh again. After testing or playing on the piano by yourself, you may also consider to ask someone else to play the piano for you to listen. Try to move back further from the piano, close your eyes and listen. Try listening from different distances and angles from the piano. Then ask yourself, do you like the piano sound? To be safe, it is always better to buy a piano from a reputable, bigger piano company. Try to find out about a piano's manufacturer backed warranty. How many years of warranty are given for the piano? For example, 10 years warranty? Maybe. Try to find out about a piano shop or music shop's straight up policy. For example, one year or two years. It is also better to buy a piano from a piano shop that offer trade up service. Now we will move on to discuss um, what are the qualities of a good piano's pedals. Normally, new modern pianos have three pedals. Older pianos may have only two pedals, with no middle pedal or known as sostenuto pedal. The left pedal is the una coda pedal or called soft pedal. The middle pedal is the sostenuto pedal. The right pedal is the dampo pedal, sustaining pedal. When piano pedal is pressed, it should have at least one and a half inches or about 3.8 cm of depth. When we press down the pedal with our foot, we should feel some resistance with the press and release foot action. Try to feel the height of a piano pedal if it's comfortable to the press. I came across a piano's pedal which are very high up. My heel could not rest comfortably flat on the floor when I depressed the piano pedals. I am an average height adult, not very tall or not very short, yet I could not rest my foot flat on the floor comfortably to press that piano pedals. So please just take note of piano pedals height too when you choose your piano. Try to check if there is any funny or squeaky piano pedal sound by pressing up and down on the piano pedal. Try testing on all three piano pedals with the foot for a couple of times and try to feel if the foot depressing action is smooth, easy and quiet.